Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, this is Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. Today we're going to make a snowman out of three ornaments that you get at Hobby Lobby. Uh, some of you may already have these ornaments. I'm going to use a few Dollar Tree items as well. And a spindle that I had. This one's kind of messed up. Um, I did drill some holes in it and then I decided to drill two more because it didn't fit properly so I tried to um, make sure that it would work pretty much before I did anything. I see one person on um, but I do not see any comments yet so we'll wait on that. I cleaned my table off this morning. I really like it clean but I have to have my things. Hey Miss Nancy. So I'm going to have to put everything back on it, but right now I'm keeping it clean because I like it. Because <clears throat> y'all only see like right in here, and I have stuff on both sides of me so I can pull things out of the little container um, when I need it. So I don't know if y'all are like that with your craft table or not. Hey, Tommy Sue, how are you doing? Happy Sunday. Hey, Miss Jerry from Spring, Texas, how are you doing? Are y'all having a good Sunday morning? Hey, Miss Tony, it's good to see you. I know some people may be at church or they're going to church. So if you are and you do not see the live button, please hashtag replay if you do watch later. Um, I'm a little better today. I do still have a little bit of stuff in my throat and it's still coming out. So I have to cough every now and then. Hey, Miss Penny. Hey, Miss Bonnie. I do sound better, that's for sure. I don't sound like a frog um, as much anymore because it's trying to come out. A lot of it came out this morning when I showered. Um, it was my favorite thing to do was get in a hot shower because I felt a whole lot better um, when I did that. So, um, what's up with everybody? Anybody doing good this morning? I hope so. So I'm going to use green. This is going to be his eyes. Um, this is a green turquoise and I like this color. I'm just wanting to change it up instead of blue. We need black always. We need white always. I'm going to use a little bit of red. We're going to use a orange here for the carrot and I've got another white. I don't know why I have two whites. <clears throat> So, this is about a two and a half inch ball. Um, it's more of a knob because it has the flat bottom on it. I did paint a snowman face, but I'm going to take the carrot off of there and just do my own little carrot. You need two half balls right here for the arms. You bought the same shirt. I bought a shirt, and this is a uh, sweatshirt shirt and uh, Miss Connie got this for me and I wore it today because it's so cold. Um, the temperature went down some and I'm chilly so I've got the heater on below as well. Okay so this is a sock from the Dollar Tree. This is left over. This is the top portion of the sock. But we're going to use this as his little bodysuit. Um, and I've got his little legs here cut, and this will be the very top of this. This is a spindle. Like I said, this is one that's just kind of damaged right here at the bottom. I don't care because we're going to be covering it up. Wind is blowing here in Oregon. Well, keep warm, Miss Darlene. We're going to use some of this. This is one of those little chamois cloths. You're expecting high 80s today. Well, Miss Jerry, good gracious alive. I don't think we're going to get up to 60 maybe. I don't know. We, we're not cold, cold, but during the night it got colder. That's the reason why I'm cold now. So I stained this, coffee stained it just like I did the socks. Um, I've had some of this in my drawer and I used it for the arms. I also used, where's this thing? Okay, I used two of these curlers. Hey, Miss Yvonne, how are you doing? <clears throat> Hopefully, you're having a good day today. But I used two of these, and I used some, um, what kind of tape is that? Duct tape to tape two of them and put them together because it was not going to work with just one. Hey, Miss Christine. Hey, Miss Deborah. 
I am feeling a lot better. I sound a lot better. Still don't sound exactly right. I still have a little bit of gunk in my throat, but I am feeling a lot better. Thank you for asking. Um, thank goodness. Hopefully it's over with. I don't want to have that again. Whatever it was, which I think it was the flu. All right. You also need a Dollar Tree heart, okay? If you want to do this, this is completely optional. You can use a piece of wood. It does not matter. I ended up... Um, drilling a hole in here. The reason why this is red is because I grabbed red paint, which is terrible, but it's going to be covered up anyway. You're not going to see it. This is the base. I just thought that looked like two little feet, so I used this. Thank you for the hearts. Appreciate it. All right, so I went ahead and I drilled it. You know, I don't like to drill on here. I'm dangerous with tools. I don't want to be on here. Okay, this is the pair of boots that I got at Hobby Lobby. It also came with a backpack and it came with a little hat. Okay. All of these matched. It also had red and black. Um, Miss Debbie got it for me, um, the red and black, but I'm going to use these today. The red and black is cute also. I did use two dowels. I believe these are Three eighths. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I think they're from Home Depot or Lowe's. But I put rocks on the inside of this and I stuffed it. I took all the stuffing out and I kind of did it like uh, the Crafty Brother does his with some little rocks, pea gravel. Um, I put some stuffing in it and I also put some hot glue. And so these are together. Okay, but to put them on the heart... I put a hole through here when I went to this. So see, it comes out just like that when we get ready. Hey, Liz, you've got the crud too. I know it. <clears throat> it's going around, y'all. The flu's going around. Everything's going around. Everybody's getting sick. I guess, you know, my flu shot didn't really work. Um... It's just that it doesn't have the variant of flu that I had, whatever it is. But it has been going around our office. We've had the flu. So anyway, this is the dowel right here. And that's what I'm going to use as my base right here. Hey, Robin. How are you doing? All right. Here, I went ahead and I covered this because you have to glue it. And it's on that plastic hair curler and so it gets all messy and everything so I went ahead and I did my arms okay I did not do the tips that's what the two little um lordy the two little half beads are okay and these I don't know what size they are they fit perfectly on the end of this and that's what I'm going to use so we're going to paint these and we're going to paint our face and we're going to go ahead and do that first before we try to construct them with the white paint. <clears throat> so let me see here. I'm going to take the lid off. Let me shake it some. And then we're going to just paint that. Let me take some white. Hopefully we won't need too much. I'm going to take this brush right here and do just the balls. I'm going to lean it down a little bit so you can see. Let me pull it back. I'm going to try to... I was trying to do it just sitting there, but it wants to move around, so I'm going to have to hold it. Just want to do the tip. He's going to be in a little beige... Obviously, since it's coffee-stained, a little beige outfit to go with his cute little boots and stuff. Hey, Miss Paula Carrington. Hey, Miss Deb. How are you doing? <clears throat> Do you like to watch me paint my faces? We will be doing a snowman on our next private group. So, if you're interested in that, I will be posting about it 
soon. I have not yet because I don't remember what week Dr. Beerman's H week is. I have to do it when he's at the hospital so I can get off on time. Because I don't ever get off on time. And some days I just don't want to do anything, to be honest, when we're real busy. So I have to do it on a day, on a week that we can do that. All right, so those are white. Now I'm gonna take a smaller brush. This one's kind of thin, but it's a flat brush. Hey, Miss Janet, how are you doing? Hey, Michelle, hey, Jermaine. I'm doing well, thank you. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole ball. <clears throat> now I'm gonna try to, um, let me see here. I gotta get a brush that's small enough that goes in the hole, but that's tight enough that it'll hold it. <laughs> I'm gonna get everything but the size I need. See, that moves. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> everything I try. Hmm. Really? Really, really. Oh well. We'll just try it anyway. We're going to do the whole thing. I'll hold it until I can't hold it. <clears throat> Let me, I want to do the small one on the front, okay? It froze for you. Well, um, I don't think it's me. I've been on the whole time, Miss Peggy. All right, I'm going to take most of this, not the front, where the face is. We're going to do that with a smaller brush. God, that's just not tight enough. I wonder if I can get some tape. I don't have any tape. Hmm. wonder if this will do it. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Yeah, this is a little tighter. Yeah, I'm sounding a little bit more about, about myself, or a little bit about, about like myself. Lord, I can't talk now. All right, <clears throat> this is a horrible brush. I don't know where this one came from. Let me get another one. All right, we're just gonna go all the way to the bottom where it's gonna sit on there, but we're not gonna do the flat part. Thank you for painting the page, Maria. I appreciate that. We're gonna skip that little part where it's holding on and we'll get that in a minute. But I'm just painting it. I'm making a snowman with a wooden ball post or a spindle and three ornaments from Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> I was just showing everybody all the items and then you came on. <laughs> Sorry. Just trying to explain what I'm going to do and now we're just doing it. I'm going to get all of this and then we'll, we'll dry it and then we'll do the front. That way I can hold on to it. And I want to make sure that we can hold on to it to do the face. That's pretty good, but we're probably going to need another coat. Good morning, Miss Pat. How are you doing? A snowman that matches your shirt. Yeah, sort of. That's the reason why I wore it today, too. Plus, I was cold. So, I wore a sweatshirt. 
<clears throat> All right, so that's one coat. But it does need another one. <clears throat> the hat is going to be covering it up. <clears throat> so you really don't have to get this perfect. And I just want to make sure that it's perfect on the front and the sides because, <clears throat> because you might be able to see a little bit of it. Yeah, I sound a little bit better. I appreciate that. I'm getting... Oh, come back here. I let go, huh? <clears throat> Let's see. Try to get the front just a little bit before I get my little bitty brush. All right, so I'm going to use this smaller brush. Now I've got to find it in all these brushes. Hey, Miss Gloria, how are you doing? <clears throat> and I think I want to get rid of this brush because that is not good anymore. All right, let me dry this a little bit, then I'm going to be able to hold it. I kind of have a little divot right there, so we got to cover it up, too. All right, so we're just going to take the paint. And we're going to get close. Let me get the water off of it. <clears throat> Let me fold this so I can put my brushes on there. All right, we want to get it close, just like I always do. Let me get the fuzz out of here. You don't ever want to fuzz on the end of your brush. And this one's broken. Get that little extra off of there. I'm feeling a lot better, Miss Connie. Finally feeling better. Actually, this is too big. Here's the small one. You want the smaller one. Here we go again. Seriously. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to get right up against where I have my face. And we're just going to go around this. Keep seeing fuzzies on the end of it. Wow, that's terrible. Thank you for sprinkling. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take this and go around the eye. And normally I wouldn't even draw this on here, but because it's easier, <clears throat> and I'm going to cover up the nose because I'm just going to paint on it myself, the nose. So see, we're getting there. <laughs> it looks funny right now. <clears throat> I'm doing well, Michelle. Thank you. I think what I'll do... Well, I don't have a pen. I was going to say... I'm going to get close. Miss Connie, I was telling them that you bought my sweatshirt for me. I went ahead and kept it, <clears throat> even though I had another one because I was cold. <clears throat> cold this morning. Put on the sweater. 
These are from Beware Sportswear. And I love them. They have cute little things. Yes, Miss Tony, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I'm doing a lot better today. Yesterday I did a lot of coughing just because I'm trying to get all this stuff out of my throat. But other than that, wasn't too bad. My next auction is next Saturday. And there's a lot of things in it. So if you've got your eye on something, then come on that day because I cannot keep everything. That's hard. All right, we're going to dry this a little bit. Let me try to smooth it out. <clears throat> that was sweet of her. <laughs> Definitely. Woo, that's hot. This is just one of them she got me. She got me three. <clears throat> and you didn't have to do that. When I got two packages, I was like, I thought I only ordered one package. <clears throat> and it was because she had ordered two. All right, so there's what it looks like. <laughs> You're so funny. What time Saturday do you know? Yes, it'll be at 5 p.m. Central. I have posted it once or twice, but a ways back, and I need to post some more. I'll be posting it a lot this week, but 5 p.m. on Saturday. All right, let me get rid of that. When I get a cold like yours, it takes a while. I know, it just lingers, doesn't it? You got that right. It does take a while to get over. All right, so we're gonna use a pointy brush. This is a brand new one. And I'm gonna hold on to this. We're gonna get some black paint. And this is a brand new one and <laughs> I can't get in it. Hold on. Guess I'll have to open it. Don't you hate that? God, I took the other one that was already open in the other room. It's okay. I haven't done anything but just paint the face. I haven't painted it on yet, just the background. So you haven't missed anything. All right, let's see here. I can do this without getting junk on me. Is Elizabeth on here? Hey, Elizabeth. 
Did you have a safe trip yesterday? I'm assuming you did. <clears throat> All right. And I think I'm going to paint this black just so it'll match the bottom. But we'll do that in a second. I'm going to go around my eye. Just like this. We're just going to outline our eye. So we can see it a little bit better. Same thing on this side. Looks like a ghost right now. We know it's not a ghost. <laughs> it looks funny, doesn't it? All right. So we're going to paint in the top portion black. We'll smooth it out some when we do that. Right like that. See? Elizabeth was taking that dog to Batesville yesterday. And she called to check on me. <clears throat> All right. So there are the eyes. Then we're gonna do the green, which is the green turquoise, the apple barrel. I'm just choosing to do green today. Just a itty bitty, bitty bit. Yes, I chose to do a snowman today because the actual snowman challenge is tomorrow. And Elizabeth and I both have it on our page about that. For any creator who wants to get live and do a snowman. While I'm sitting here doing this, this looks like a snowball, but it's just his head. Oh, is Rekindled Blessings here? If you are, hello. How are you doing, Miss Beth? Yeah, Elizabeth, are you feeling better? All right, here's one of the eyes. Okay, it's gonna look a lot better with some eyelashes. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna go up here corner. I like this green and it covers real well too. I haven't tried it before, I don't think. Not for little eyes anyway. Yes, followers can do it too if y'all are wanting to get on live and make a snowman. Do they even have to get on live, or can they just make one and post it? Alright, so here's the eyes. And we got to put the white in the eyes. So we're going to take the white. And then we're going to do the same thing we did with the turquoise. We're going to kind of go over here to the side, make a little crescent. And 
and doing it that way. Try to do those points first because it's a little bit easier than having wet paint at the bottom. Snowmen everywhere. True that. Which are so cute. <clears throat> Man, there's been some cute snowmen out there. I know Beth had a really cute one. It's on her page. It's actually her profile picture. All right, so here is one eye. And then we're going to do the other side the same way. And then we're going to go back over it with black just a little bit. To smooth everything out. show you this one. See, anytime you don't do perfectly, we're going to go back over it with the black. So take all the white out of your brush. I'm going to see if I've got an even tinier brush. I don't know if this one will work or not. It's crooked. We're going to see because it's tinier. I'm going to use that to go over the edge. This gets rid of any imperfections that you might have actually touched. Along the way. And then we can make our black portion of our eye a little bit bigger. So it's smoother. Same thing on this side. Just go over the edge. I'm going to do it on the left and the right. <clears throat> With a very thin brush. Just like that, okay? Now I'm going to take this same brush. We're going to make some lashes. We're going to do the same thing over here. Make a couple of eyebrows up at the top, and then we're going to paint his little face. Thank you for the hearts. Hey, Margaret, how are you doing? And we're just going to go over this. And he'll look more like a snowman when we get his nose on there. We're just doing all the black first. All right. <clears throat> now we want to do the nose. And I've got my orange. This is Harvest Orange. I just happen to like this one. It's a darker orange, more like a carrot. Ooh, that came out a lot, didn't it? All right, so we're going to just take one of these brushes. 
get a medium amount of paint on there. And then we're just going to do it like this. I'm just taking it and we're just doing it like this. Okay, so now he looks more like a snowman, right? <laughs> Happy Sunday, Robin. I didn't see you come on. Now we're gonna dry this because I just don't want to touch his nose. We're gonna put a little dot, a couple of dots in his eyes. And then that portion will be done. Woo, hot, hot, hot. All right, so there's our little face. Now let me get the smaller brush again. Thank you, Michelle. And we're gonna take a little bit and put right here. And a little bit and put right here. Ugh. That's the thing. Sometimes the, it gets black. I mean, uh, white on the black where it doesn't need to be. So I have to go back and fix that. Actually, we'll dry it and then I'll cover it up. <clears throat> hey, Diana. Thank you. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> when you hold it in your hand. All right, we're going to cover that up. make a boo-boo, you fix it. Okay, so there's the little face. So cute, right? <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Miss Connie got that for me at Beware Sportswear. All right, we're going to paint this black, so I'm going to put some more black on here because we'll need a little bit more than that. Let me try to get my big brush so we don't take so long on this. Now, I'm not going to cover inside here. We're going to put some glue in that hole. I'm trying not to anyway, but it's going in there a little bit. We're just going to make this the base, and then we will dry it with the dryer. The boots will be standing through here, so... I'm going to glue it down. The dowel will go directly in here. So we're just going to see how this turns out. Hopefully it's going to work. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm needing more than that. It just didn't seem like it. Just a little bit more, right? This way it won't be so rough. You don't have to do that because I'm using all this coffee stain stuff to make him look a little bit distressed. Let me dry it. Get it all done first. And we're gonna dry it. All right. Move that out of the way. Let me dry. <clears throat> And this is the front portion right here. We want it all dry so it doesn't get on our little boots. This is a Dollar Tree heart. So if y'all bought some during Valentine's Day last year, that's when I got it. And make sure I get inside that hole. We're going to be putting that glue in there. Let me see if it's dry. It's pretty dry, except I'm getting my fingers on there. Let me get my, my Pampers butt wipes here. <laughs> oh, she's still sick. I'm sorry, Beth. Girl, I've been sick too. Get you some Tamiflu. If your doctor will call you in Tamiflu. Lord. Because that's what I had to do, and I got better within 24, almost probably about 36 hours. I was a lot better. <clears throat> All right. 
Let me get that done. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is put my base on here. So I'm going to turn this around because this is my actual front um, here. So on the boots, once you prepare them and you've got your sticks in there, which are the uh, dowels, I put rocks in there and I put the stuffing that actually came in these. And I made them just as fluffy and stiff as I could, okay? But they wouldn't stand alone. So I decided to take this and poke a hole through the bottom. See here? And the same thing here. I just took my scissors and I made it like this, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold these down. I want to get a little bit of super glue gel and put it in here. If you're fighting strep throat and pink eye, gosh, I hate that for you. All right. So there, I put a little bit of the glue in there. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to fill this up. I don't care if it overflows because... All right, now this is the front, so I'm going to turn it around. Now I just have to look at it. And it fits perfectly in there. Okay. And then you'll fluff out your boot. <laughs> Cuz he's got fat feet, okay? So here's what it looks like so far. Now I've pushed this in here, but it's going to be better once you get this on, okay? But we're just going to set this aside. I'm going to let it dry for a second. All right, and I don't need this extra piece. I just wanted to show y'all that. <clears throat> this right here is the base. Now I have to make sure what is the front and what's the back. I wanted these two pieces that were cut out. I don't know why they were cut out, but um, I chose to buy it anyway. And here's what I'm going to do with it. So I had done two little bitty ones together, but it was not good enough. So I did another one and another one in here. And so um, this is going to be the front right here. So I'm going to take my sock. This is his little outfit, okay, is the sock. And we're just going to put this over him. These are the legs, okay? This is going to cover up these two little legs. He's going to have short, knobby legs. So we're just going to cover this up. So you're not going to see all this messed up down here, so it doesn't matter. I was wondering how I was going to do it, but this is how I'm going to do it. So I just pull it down. You want to get the leg portion down here where the legs are. And I want it to kind of be fluffy like this. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to cut anything. You have those boots, hat, and backpack. Yeah, aren't they cute? When I saw them, I saw a snowman or a character anyway. Y'all know how I am when I see things. All right, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it down. And we're going to try to, we'll, we'll put his little legs up, okay, or his pants. And we're going to try to put this in here. I wanted some of it to stick out because I wanted him to have legs. All right. So... We're going to take this, and we're going to go inside the boot. All right. <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of take my glue and go right inside here. We're just going to pinch them together. Just like this. He's going to have dumpy little legs, okay? And we're just going to put it right in here. So see his first little leg right here? That's going to be the leg. We'll fix his boot here in a second. It'll go around his um, little leg. All right, now we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to take this and moving it out front, okay? Just the portion right there. And then we're just going to take it. I pull it back. 
and we're just gonna put this together. This is the front, and I'm making a match here as good as I can. All right. So then we're gonna put it inside his boot. And he's got little dumpy legs. <laughs> he's mostly boot. <laughs> the way the boots are, it's too funny. All right. Okay. Let me get this off of here. He's got a little straggler. There we go. trying to make it so it looks like two little legs putting it on into the boot all right so there's his little legs right there okay see his little legs he's a little crooked <clears throat> the boots kind of um, go to the side I don't know if y'all do So we're going to take this, I'm going to go up around here. This is going to be kind of like around his neck. <laughs> Thank you. So we're going to take some glue right here. Now he's a little crooked, but that's okay. We're going to put his arms on too. Let me put a good dab of this in the middle. Because we want to make sure that this stays on top. You want it in the center. And I'm just going to let it sit for a second. And then we're going to come up around here. And I'm just going to put some glue right at the base here. And we're just going to push this into it so it looks like he has a little collar. Looks cute so far. Alright, so we're just going to use hot glue for this. Let me turn him around here. Snowmen aren't perfect. So that's okay. He's got a little black spot where I touched something. Now, I like him to have this look. This is his little snow bunny outfit. <laughs> Sometimes things don't come exactly the way they should in your head, but it'll work out. All right, so here's his face. See how it's all around him there? I like it like that. He is crooked. <laughs> Looks better in the front than it does in the back, I guess. But mostly it's because of this block. It's not exactly perfect. All right. So, we're going to put his little hat on. <laughs> he looks so cute. All right, we're going to glue his hat down. I'm going to put this right here. And I think that I want it. Let's see. We're gonna glue it to the top and then we're gonna glue it together. So I'm gonna take his white hands and we're gonna put a little bit of the glue gel on there on either side. <clears throat> Let me close it up here. And then we're gonna get a little bit of hot glue. And see it's on the plastic here instead of being on that styrofoam we're going to cover this portion up and then the same thing on this side I'm going to put this right here and it covers up that whole little top portion see there and I tried to make it as close as I could here but it's not perfect that's okay. All right, and then we're gonna glue it to the back right here, but we're gonna end up 
putting a lot of glue and then we're going to glue it together but we got to make sure that these are going to stay on here hopefully we can get this to work <clears throat> so i'm going to use some glue gel you can do this lower if you want to i don't know his arms just seem like they need to be right here so i think it's going to be on here so we're just going to put a good generous amount of this i don't know if that'll work or not and a lot of glue hot glue I'm going to try. Sometimes I don't know how my creations are going to be, you know. <laughs> this is cute. You got yours at Hobby Lobby? Are you talking about the hat and stuff? <clears throat> I meant to put this Gonna have to get this back in here first. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is too funny. All right, let's put some more glue on here since I had to take it off. There's his little backpack. It's working. <laughs> now I wanna put his hat on. Let's see. I'm gonna put a little dab right there. We're gonna put a little bit right here, a little bit right here, and I'll turn him around. Just have to hold him for a sec. <laughs> he needs to hold skis or something, y'all. This is so cute. All right, ready? <laughs> Isn't he cute? My goodness. There's his little hat. So there we go. He's all cute. He looks cute from the back too. You love him? <laughs> so he turned out pretty good, huh? <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. I'm glad y'all like him. <laughs> he needs to hold something. He needs to hold skis or something, right? I don't know. I don't have any skis. I wonder where we can get little skis at. I guess I could make some. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Beth. He turned out pretty cute. <clears throat> so you can bend this however you want to, since they're the bendable curlers. But he worked pretty good. And then his little backpack is on there. So here he is from the back. Thank you, Maria, for those stars. Thank you, Janet. Appreciate that. Thank you, Teresa, for the hearts. Thank you all for the hearts. I appreciate that. Hey, Kim. Make some popsicle sticks. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you, Miss Pat. Thank you, Joyce. 
Thank you so much. So he turned out really cute. So y'all have to make one. So he's got little dumpy legs in there. So he's all glued down. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Connie. I appreciate y'all. I guess I could lean it up now a little bit, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to be on on Wednesday. We're going to make another craft with um, snowmen. So any crafters that want to or any um, followers as well that want to make a snowman, then please hashtag the hashtags that we have on there. I can't remember what they are right now. I should be ashamed of myself. Um, but I don't remember them, but there's three different hashtags you can put on there and, um, we'll post them on Memphis Bells and Chuffed Berry, uh, creative circles. So make sure y'all do one, but this is my cute little snowman today, but I've got a different one for Wednesday and then Friday I may do one as well. When are you painting the Santa? What Santa? The Santa that, um, the private class was on Monday, but you can still get in there and see it, Roxana. That was already done on Monday, right before I got sick. So it was on the 28th. So go to HP Santa, Roxana. That sounds funny. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Pat. For those stars. You didn't have to do that. So hopefully you missed it. You were sit out sick. I understand, but it'll be up there for a while so you'll be able to see it. You can go back and watch it as many times as you want to. So everybody, hopefully you enjoyed this today. And I'll be back on Wednesday and we will make another snowman. So come join me then, okay? Have a good Sunday afternoon, and I will see y'all then. Thank you. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Have a good afternoon, y'all, and I'll see you Wednesday at 6 Central after work. When is your live sale? It is going to be on Saturday, the 10th of December at 5 p.m. Central, and I'll post on that as well. As well. <clears throat> All right. Talk to you later. Bye.